Does this adapter solve all your USB-C hassles? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here and I have a MacBook Pro that just has USB-C connections. A lot of you have similar sort of setups and it's a hassle. I have all these other devices I want to be able to plug in and I can't without using adapters. Enter this. This is one of many options. This is a USB-C hub adapter. This is from, and I really hope I get the pronunciation right, Niao Chao which is a Chinese company and it's a four in one adapter. So on one end it has VGA, which is kind of a cool retro thing and HDMI, much more useful. And on the other side, it has USB-C so you can power your device if you only have one plug and USB three. Now it's made out of aluminum alloy. It's about 2.3 inches. I'm sorry. It's 2.3 inches by 1.5 inch by six tenths of an inch thick weighs just under five ounces. It's really super easy to carry and travel with. As you can see, it has USB-C on that one end. So let's actually plug it in. And while I'm plugging it in, let me tell you a little bit about it. So the USB-C, I'm using a 61 watt charger from Apple. And I just want to show right up front that initially the Apple hardware monitor says that it's actually getting 60 watts of power. So the question is, when I plug it in through the hub, how much power does it get? So we're going to do that, but we're also going to plug in HDMI and see if we can power this external monitor. So we're going to do both. I'm going to plug it into my computer and fingers crossed everything will work. So that sound tells us that it's getting power, which is great. And hopefully there we go. Now we're getting the screen mirrored over here, which is actually really handy. So that all works great. Now, interestingly, if you look at this close up, you can see that it's only giving 52 watts of the 61 watts to the computer. So it's a little bit low. The hub is actually pulling out just under 10 watts of power for its own purposes. That's why the company says you should really use it with an 87 watt charger rather than a 61 watt charger. This will work. I'd probably need to close my computer to get it to charge a little faster. And even then it's going to charge a little more slowly than normal, but it does work. This will work with your Nintendo switch and such. If you want to use the USB C for something else, that's fine. Now let's look at USB three, right? Cause we got the HDMI working and we have the um, USB C working. So now we're going to start with an easy one. We're just going to look at power. So this time, all I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can charge my Apple watch through that. And it is indeed charging. So that's good. So at the most basic level, it can push power through the USB three, even though I'm using everything else. Now let's unplug my watch since it is fully charged and I'm going to put in a USB drive. Maybe let's see well, it's not wanting to fit in there. I think it might just be weird dimensions. Oh, that's not good. Let's see. Is it going to show up? Yes. So I'm seeing it on my desktop and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do some quick tests. Let's actually record this. I have the external drive showing up on my computer desktop. So we're going to go ahead and copy to and from. Let's start by copying 124 megabyte file to the drive and we'll see how quick that is. And that's pretty decent speed there. It looks like it's stalling out halfway, but there we go. And now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to actually read from the drive and copy it onto my hard disk. And you ready? Here we go. And reading is always faster than writing. So that should be pretty fast. In fact, it's done. That was pretty easy. Great. Now let me switch back to being on camera. So it works great. It's nice and fast. I get all the functionality I want. I can't test VGA because I don't have anything that works with VGA, but you can see here on the big screen, everything's still working just fine. And that's really, really great. Now, again, let me give you a little bit more on the specs on this. I'm going to go ahead and unplug everything so we can look at it. So let's see, everything's unplugged. And now here you have it. And basically the USB-C, like I said, it's charging and data. We saw that at least the charging worked, although it does leach about eight Watts of power worth knowing, um, does work with things like the Nintendo switch, the USB three, which is on this side 
does what they say is up to five gigabits per second transfer. That's actually just the spec. I was not able to test whether it's that fast, but it's certainly fast enough that works fine. The HDMI supports Ultra HD 4K at 30 hertz. And then you have the VGA, but here's the thing. If you wanna use both of them simultaneously to drive two monitors, then the HDMI steps down to 1080p at 60 hertz. So you're not gonna be able to drive a 4K monitor and another monitor via VGA. So probably that's a very unusual scenario, but you could certainly do something like drive a projector through VGA and then have a display also showing that same information. So you could use that for like a kiosk or something. So that's really the on only limitation that's worth mentioning comes in gold, silver, or gray. And before I tell you the price, let me ask if you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. Great. Now, the Niao Chao USB-C hub adapter is $19.99 at amazon.com. One product solves a lot of problems, definitely worth checking out. And they also have a lot of different configurations. So if you're sure that you're never gonna use VGA, you might look at a configuration that has two HDMI 3 sorry, um, to USB 3 connections. So, options. Anyway, that's all I got, so I'll catch you in my next video.